Today we are going to talk about the solar radiation, solar radiation, uh, how to calculate that. So there was a demand from students that we want to uh, recheck that, uh, give us the lecture that about how to calculate the solar radiation. So I made a small presentation and uh, I'm sharing you with, sharing with you here. Uh, so solar radiation, how it can be calculated, the major source of uh, energy and light on the planet Earth is mainly from the solar radiation and solar radiation can be calculated by different ways uh, and I will teach you two different methods of solar radiation today the first one is angstrom method through the angstrom method the formula is given here and that is based on the solar radi relation to extraterrestrial radiation and relative sunshine duration so what is being calculated in this uh, in this way uh, from this formula <coughs> if you can see that rs is the solar radiation and we are going to and as plus bs and small n over capital n and this is in brackets and then ra this is the formula this is according to the angstrom formula which relates to solar radiation okay so if you you need to re remember this formula okay so radiation is equal to th these functions a plus b uh, calculation of the n the small n and capital n are uh, what are these i will show you here so rs represents solar or short wave radiation m in the unit is megajoule per meter square per day this small n as represented in the formula this is the actual duration of sunshine this is calculated by in hours this is calculated by uh, the solar uh, sunshine recorder that you have visited in the observatory i am showing you this so this small n can be calculated by the solar uh, sunshine recorder if you can recall this your visit to the weather station uh, then you might have remembered that uh, this kind of structure was there this is made of glass this is a glass sphere and on this side this is the card this card is based card is marked with hourly intervals so this is the structure of sunshine recorder here it is the actual structure that you might have seen uh, during the visit of the weather observatory and behind that you can see that the solar radiation in is converging and it is being it is it is burning this card so from one line to the second line it's burning it counts as one hour right so it is according to the axis because this round com completes in 24 hours so as many hours there is sunshine uh, the number of lines are dissected or burned on the card so daily we need to change this card and uh, and check the sol sunshine recording how much sunshine was recorded so this formula of angstrom is based on this <coughs> uh, number of solar radiation this small n this is the actual duration of sunshine this is in calculated in hours how we can calculate that we can calculate that from <coughs> from the data of uh, given in the agrometrological bulletin agromet bulletin so this is the agromet bulletin and here you can see uh, I can show here uh, the sunshine recorder data this is the sunshine duration this is the sunshine duration you can see this in hours so for example this is from January 2020 so in January uh, on the first January there was there must be cloudy so it is showing zero hours uh, in sunshine then on the second January 5.5 hours there was sunshine <coughs> likewise on third January 6.8 hours there was sunshine so this varies and from this we can extract the data and put in the formula so okay and what is capital n the capital n is the maximum possible duration of sunshine or daylight hours so maximum possible duration of daylight hours means at any particular place on the planet what could be the maximum sunshine in certain month or the average of that month could be possible or could be maximum so how to find out the value of this capital n 
this capital N value can be found from the table so this is the table this is called mean daylight hours capital N for different latitudes for uh, this is for the 15th of each month and here you can see that <coughs> uh, here are the latitudes on the right side is southern hemisphere on the left side is data for northern hemisphere and if you have seen uh, if we talk about uh, Faisalabad then from Faisalabad you can find out the latitude where it is this latitude is here so from the agreement bulletin you can see that this latitude is 31 degree and 44 minutes and there is a capital N with that if you can follow the arrow so 31.44 that means it's more than 30 but less than 32 but in this case we need to apply the capital N value from from the table <coughs> so look at this the capital N value uh, we can find out from here this would be 32 we'll be using 32 because this is more than 30 but it should be calculated for 32 and we are in the northern hemisphere so we will check the left side so we will check uh, the table against the value 32 for which month for example we are checking for the month of January if we are checking for the month of January then we need to follow with the 32 table and go to the so that means in January here the value is 10.1 so that means in January the maximum sunshine recorded can be 10.1 only it cannot be more than 10.1 at this place at Faisalabad so as the location vary there will be variation so for example uh, at 32 latitude <coughs> it cannot be more than 10.1 but in other latitudes it could be more in different different locations so this varies with the location and we have to see this global phenomena that the maximum sunshine radiation uh, can be found where <coughs> so this is the way how we calculate n so but actually uh, to, to avoid from the confusion that we need to find out the value for example we have 31.4 then we have to see this against 32 not 30 right so this need to be cleared that against the typical month for which we are going to calculate the value of capital N this should be 30 32 for Faisalabad similarly if it is you are going to calculate from Multan then you have to see the latitude for that and the month against that that you are in the northern hemisphere likewise if you have been asked that in Australia that is in the southern hemisphere you might be given an idea that okay you can't you go and find the 40 latitude in the month of June so here will be 9.2 so in southern hemisphere uh, it will be quite different here will be <coughs> the weather is quite opposite so let's work according to our example here it is given so capital N is the maximum possible duration of sunshine and n over n is the relative sunshine duration so small n over capital n is relative sunshine duration so we will be firstly calculating this small n over capital n and ra is extra terrestrial terrestrial means uh, earth so extra terrestrial radiations means the uh, other uh, radiations that could be possibly coming uh, apart from uh, solar radiation other than solar radiation all those radiations they are called as extraterrestrial radiations so this RA is for uh, calculating that this could be a factor which could be reduced and then we can calculate the <coughs> solar radiation so AS and BS what are these these are the fraction of extraterrestrial radiation reaching the earth on clear days when n over and when small n is equal to n it is possible that small n over capital n could be could be similar so so the factors or the fractions of as plus bs uh, that is the fraction <coughs> uh, that is a fraction of extraterrestrial radiation which is showing us 
that uh, on the clear days when when it is the maximum so capital n is the maximum solar radiation reaching to the earth and n is the recorded so when on a clear day the maximum possible sunshine hours is equal to the solar radiation calculated on those days we can calculate the fraction of as plus ps which will be shown as a constant and in the angstrom value in this formula as and bs will vary where no actual solar radiation data are available and no calibration has been carried out for improved uh, for for these parameters and for the calculation purpose we use as is equal to 0 0.25 yani ki isko 0.25 we take it as standard as a constant and bs as 0 0.5 these are recommended uh, values so we will put all these values and this can be taken from the uh, from the uh, data table and we see the examples that we have taken the value of n and here is the example that okay so how let's see what this example is talking all about calculate the amount of solar radiation at Faisalabad incident on 1st of June 2009 if sunshine hours of the day are 8.75 so according to this statement we can uh, we can put these values uh, in, in this formula a is equal to 0.25 b is equal to 0.50 these both are constants capital n this one we have seen according to uh, for the value for faisalabad during the month of june 2019 doesn't matter for this one so because this is constant and is uh, it doesn't matter which year we are talking about so capital N is 14.1 hours so the maximum possible duration of sunshine hours could be in June could be 14.1 hours yani ke June mein jo hai sirf 14.1 ghanta jo maximum solar radiation ho sakti hai wo hogi small n jo hai ye 8.75 hoga theek hai 8.75 हमने कैलकुलेट किया ये आपको दिया गया कि 8.75 8.75 इज द वैल्यू दैट हैज बीन कैलकुलेटेड कैलकुलेट बाय व्हाट बट बाय द सनशाइन रिकॉर्डर सनशाइन रिकॉर्डर से हमने इसको कैलकुलेट किया सो दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन इन सब वैल्यूज को इसमें ऐड कर देंगे आर ए की वैल्यू हमने इसी तरह जिस तरह हम कैपिटल एन की वैल्यू ली थी उसी तरह ही हमने आर ए की वैल्यू लेनी है वो कहां से लेनी है इस टेबल से दिस टेबल इज शोइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ए that is daily extraterrestrial radiation is may be on latitude pe jayenge so yahan pe 32 32 me dekhenge and for the month of june okay so here is june so here you can see 14.4 so 14.4 value of r a we are going to calculate so also need to consider that this is from the northern hemisphere so here we put that 14.4 so now you understand that this 14.4 is coming from where this is coming from R8 table I mean sub ko yaan pe put kare is formula me add up kare AS value plus BS value then 8.75 divided by 14.1 so these are the values from this capital and, and RA value is 41.4 so firstly we will solve uh, small n over n capital n so we'll see this division then we'll get the answer 0 0.621 okay and then we will open this small brackets and multiply this value with 0 0.50 so 0 0.25 plus we got the product 0 0.310 and then we can see that we will uh, we'll solve the brackets first we'll we'll um, plus these both values and we will get 0 0.56 the value and then it will be multiplied with 41.4 so this will finally make 23.20 mega joule per meter square per day so this is the answer to this numerical uh, this is showing that uh, solar radiation at Faisalabad on 1st June was 23.20 mega joule per meter square per day so this means that 23 mega joule energy is reaching on 1 meter square area in one day in Faisalabad okay
ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮੱਚ